Welcome to episode number seven for this Everton Master League series. Team Spirit is now 80. Team Strength is still at 81. We haven't been able to add too many guys to the squad yet. We do have a very limited budget, uh, but we'll have to see. Tottenham is up next. Our starting 11 is Morales, Lennon, Kone, Suarez, Barkley, Schneiderlin, Cole, Jagielka, Fum- Funes Mori. Baines and Joel Robles. Harry Kane, of course, is going to be the man we need to watch out for. Erickson, Kane, Lamella. And already threatening early. Very early in this, squad, in this game. Erickson. Woof. I get really skittish in set-piece uh, situations because typically I don't defend them very well. And I can see, I tend to concede a lot of goals like that. Baines, Morales, double team. He's taken out though. And unfortunately, Kyle Walker doesn't even get a card for that. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, it's not it's not worth a card. I take it back. Baines chips it over, not able to get it. Schneiderlin pushing up. Ooh, right at the keeper though. Kone, Lamella, Eriksson. Morales able to get on top of the ball quickly. Seamus Coleman, back to Seamus Coleman. Lennon. Suarez is being taken down here. Referee finally stops play. I just love the reactions. They always be like, oh, um, I didn't do anything. Pulls like a Kendrick Perkins on us. Look at that. Initiates contact before the ball even touches my feet. What's up with that? Hector, Wanyama, back to Eriksson, he's through, okay, Wanyama again, Suarez able to pick his pockets, Kone, going to switch sides now, fortunately Barkley coughs up the ball, and that is it, a winless first half, or a scoreless first half more like. Only 55% possession, two shots, two on target, 88% pass completion, only two crosses made so far. Wanyama again. Erickson, Kane. Kane still has it. Plays it back to Lamella. Blocked. Kane, he's through. Just misses the post. We have to try to clear the ball as soon as possible, especially if it's in the box. Harry Kane is a very dangerous striker. Can't uh, can't leave it out there like that. Kane. Walker. Back to Kane. Wanyama. Nice give and go. He's through. But Robles is there. Great passing, a lot of one touch, giving goes. Uh, it was overplayed though, so. Kane is now off. Janssen is in. Funes Mori loses it in a very dangerous spot here. Morales trying to stop Ericsson from advancing. Kone, he's taken down. And yet. Another yellow card has been shown. Is that Wanyama? I'm not sure. Vertonghen is uh, trying to argue the referee, and it is Wanyama who is the culprit. Gonna have to take out Ross Barkley. Let's see what happens. Should probably sub off Schwarz as well. No foul given. 
Wanyama still has the ball, has to play it back here, and uh, a very uneventful match at White Hart Lane. 56% possession, two shots on target for both sides. They've taken four shots on total, 87 pass completion, and uh, four crosses the entire match, so that's not very eventful at all. Kyle Walker, for some reason, is the man of the match, which I'm still kind of concerned about. Match day number 10 draws between Crystal Palace and Swansea. Watford loses to Hull City. Leicester defeats West Brom. Liverpool falls to West Ham, which is also a bit surprising. Hull City scoring four goals, too, is a, is a bit amazing. City falls to Arsenal. United defeats Middlesbrough. Southampton defeats Burnmouth. Burnley defeats Stoke City. And Sunderland falls to Chelsea with a 4 1 defeat. Couple additional changes to the table, no doubt. United still sitting at first with 25 points. Arsenal with 21 points at second. We're sitting at third with 19 points. West Brom right behind us. Burnley right behind us with 18 points apiece. Chelsea back up to sixth spot with 17 points. Tie with Tottenham. Leicester and Southampton both have 16 points at the eighth and ninth spot, respectively. And once again, Suarez is improving. His kicking power increased to 79. Stamina increasing to 77. I didn't realize the stamina was actually that bad to begin with. Match number two against Sunderland and Jermaine Defoe. They're running a 3-5-1-1, I think. Yeah, 3-5-1-1. Starting 11, Kone, Valencia, Morales, Barkley, Suarez, Barry, Santon, Jagieka, Wilkin, uh, Williams, and Baines, Steckelberg will be the man to post. Defoe, even though he is a little bit older now, he still is a very pacey and smart forward. He definitely do, do a lot of damage. Defoe is right through. Have to triple team him to take away that space. Morales also given a lot of space right now. He's pulling the fullback away. Crosses it. Doesn't get there though. Yanazai, forgot about him. Suarez loses it. Can't turn against the defense. Ashley Williams gets a piece of the ball. Ball is played back to Leighton Baines. Barkley going to play it centrally. Gareth Bale delivers to Kone. One more pass to Valencia. Maybe he would have been through. Barry wins the ball back. But uh, gets hammered. Morales. Kone. Plays it right through back to Morales. A lot of space given. Let's see if he can take a shot right now. Nope. Decide to play it back here. Barkley going to cross it. Nobody there for the finish though. Defoe. Kazri. Defoe again. He's taken down. And that's a nil-nil first half once again. 58% possession. We have not taken a single shot on net. 86% pass completion. Four crosses complete or taken at least. I don't know. I don't know about completed. Have to change things up. That's this 3-5-1-1 one, one formation just throwing me off a little bit here. Variation between uh three five twos. Barry. We just see a wall of Sunderland players right now. It's like a four four one defense alignment. Nobody there, once again, to try to crack at the net. Do something. Just try to do something. Let's see. Morales, what can I do? Hmm. We'll go for a middle cross here. And unfortunately, there's nothing there. Kazuri, right through the defo. Crosses it. Going to have to clear the ball here. They do get possession back. Gibson, quickly to Defo, who then back heels to Kazri for the, well for the finisher, breaking the deadlock. That's a very very, I guess, intuitive play or instinctive play. Just one no touch back heel, or sorry one touch back heel. Look at that. Opening up the defense. Should have done better to begin with. Well played. Going to bring on Lennon for Valencia. I need more pace now. 
Our crosses are not on point at all. It's been off the entire game. Kazri again. Uh-oh. Can't mess around in our final third. Barkley. Uh, back to Gareth Barry. Barkley to Baines. He'll feed a through ball to Morales. And Kone is able to get there. Leveling things up. We may just get... We may just salvage a point out of this. And again, attacking with the left flank. Left wing of the field. Kone with great positioning too. He was ready. Keeper was not though. Kazri. Defo. Borini. He'll play it to the opposite flank to Yanazai. Kazri. Defoe again. He's going to try to turn his defender. Has to play back to Larson. He's going to test Steckelberg. Stecklenberg. There you go. Keep calling him Stecklenberg. Stecklenberg. Kone, no energy. Obviously can't get to the ball. Three minutes of added time left. They're shutting things down here, it looks like. Lenin doesn't get there. Is he going to try to push something? They have like seconds left on the clock. Literally seconds left. And referee does signal the end of the match. About 55% possession, slight advantage. Four shots, only one of them on target. 84% pass completion. We've attempted 12 crosses this game and still nothing. Kazri, of course, is the man of match. Although I would argue that Kone should have been the man of match with the match drawing goal. Match day number 11, Tottenham defeats Leicester, Watford loses to Liverpool, West Brom falls to City. That's not too surprising, Nothing, no surprises here so far. Arsenal defeats West Ham, United defeats Burnmouth, Burnley loses to Middlesbrough, Chelsea defeats Southampton, and a draw between Stoke City and Crystal Palace, one apiece. Look at the table right now, dropping to fourth spot. Uh, a couple of tie teams, United with 28 points, Arsenal 24, Chelsea, Everton, Tottenham all with 20 points. Peace City at six with 18. Same with Burnley and West Brom. Leicester dropping to 16 points, tie with Southampton, nine and 10th spot respectively. Schwarz's explosive power has increased to 84. I suppose that would help with his finishing, but I don't really use him as a finisher anyways. That's fine. And that is it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching as usual, and I'll see you next time.